and the recording has begun. Let's go in. So, new rule. I'm here and I'm glad you are. But most people aren't here for that. Shadow people already on me, that's a great sign. New rule. There is a 30 minute... Someone's right on me. A 30 minute time limit to each level. If I do not get out of the level within 30 minutes, I will skip to the next. Because this is, um... I'm on like hour 10 <laughs> of this game. And while I do it, whoa. My san- oh, my sanity is all kinds of messed up. While I do enjoy this game quite a bit, I would like to get- a, I would like to finish it at some point. Ow, I'm dead. My light was extinguished. Well, that's a good start. So I'm guessing meditate does not count as crouch. For the purposes of not dying. I enjoy it too. It's a good game. Also, I figured out that the green tent that I talk about apparently isn't real. I keep talking about it. It looks so green on OBS, but I go back and watch the recording. And it's not green. I don't understand. But it is what it is. Anyway. Let's follow the exit sign. Ah. I did very good. But it is green for me, really? Like, okay, so you see the green. But it doesn't show up as green in the recording. And I have no filters. No properties, no... Hmm. This is weird. This is the dress debate again. Also, I heard the crying guy. Very cool. Oh boy, ow. But it's even weirder than the dress debate. There he is. Because, like, I can see both at the same time. Is he gone? Oh no, there he is. Crouch, crouch. Meditate does not work, you have to actually crouch. Uh, that didn't work apparently. Awesome! I don't know if the exit sign is leading me in the correct direction, so I'm just going to run this way. Where, ow! It's like, I know it's coming. Why? Let me be. Set me free. Believe me and we will escape from the city. Oh my god, Slappy Hall. Everybody knows Slappy. <laughs> He's the latest and greatest in my Scott entertainment. He also has flamethrowers. So that's cool. Hmm, slappy. Would also like to know why they decided to portray clumps as just a pile of arms. Ooh, exit sign. Why am I following you? You're a lie. Shh. 
charlatan. <laughs> oh no! Oh great! Leave me be. What was that? I'm sure it's fine. Ow! ow. Seems more like a greenish blue. Yeah, that's what I see. It does not have that color in the game, and it didn't really show up in the recording either. Maybe it's just a thing my capture card does. It's something we wouldn't be able to notice in Tears of the Kingdom because that game already has like a kind of color filter over it anyway. It's not a big deal. Think of it like branding. Like you know you're watching an alley. What? Whoa. The meat zone. Go away. I'm exploring the mead zone. Oh, hell yeah. The huge deal, is it? Oh, man. I'm missing the immersion. Well, think of it like you're being immersed in algae water. This is unfair. This is unfair. This is fucked up. Seven minutes in and I'm already cursing. I'm alive. I did it. Ah! Back off. Ow. You. Yep. No. No. Ah. They're on top of me, dude. Is that a record of not dying? Somehow I survived. Somehow I'm still alive. One of these days, I'll play Resident Evil 3. Maybe it'll even be the remake, who knows? Certainly not me! Please, sugar will be acceptable. Shadow people. Oh boy. Back off! Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a slappy in the distance. <laughs> What's the end of the count? Oh, yeah. Forgot to have it. Ew. Thank you for reminding me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm dead. I don't know if it'll really make a difference, but there you go. Half entity count. Is that another chair? The death elevator. Is there a chair here now? Wait, there's a chair here now. I'm definitely not an anime cat person. You can't prove that I am an anime cat per can't person. I do not meow. I do not nya. I just say things weird sometimes. It's no big deal. Do 
Yeesh, these guys are fast. You also can't prove that you're that I'm human. True. I'm a disembodied voice on the internet that plays video games. I am a robot for your entertainment. Party robot! Now my head can spin. I'll be around a million years, so let the part. Oh, I got a mute. Alright, sorry about that. Phone call! Anyway, as I was saying, I'll be around a million years to let the party. Oh, wait. What's. Where is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Now my head can spin. I'll be around a million years to let the party begin. Gun, 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 gun. Man, all these references that I'm sure no one understands. I'm culturally relevant. I definitely know what a Ranbu is. Exit? Exit how? Is that a kind of food? I think so. Sounds like a VTuber, to be honest. It's gotta be some weird... Weird random indie Japanese VTuber. Gotta be. Oh boy. <laughs> Not today, Shadow Man. I've got sugar. It's grown in the Caribbean! Also Brazil. Hawaii, Cuba. Now I've got, whoa, hey. Ow. The meat zone! We're back, boys! Yes! Negative. No, you cannot have me. What if I follow the meat zone exits? Surely the meat zone is where we need to be. We follow the meat zone to be free. Meat zone. SHARE WITH ME YOUR SECRETS! OPEN THE PATH TO ME! Maybe? What if I ask nicely, please? Pretty please? Hmm, I don't think he bought the accent. Oh my gosh! It's a lot of lads right there, eh? Boy, 
Boy, am I glad we figured out the secret. Wisp? No. Boy, am I glad that we figured out the secret to death moths. Because sheesh! They were one of the most annoying little fiends. What the? Satan? You know what? Screw you guys! Yeehaw! Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster, faster! They'll never catch me. I'm the gingerbread Allen. Also, I'm. I may have, uh. May have hit a dead end. Hey, guys. <laughs> what the? There was a flash of light and I died. I don't understand what happened. I don't get it. Ooh. More sugar. Finally, a food worth eating. You encountered Ness? Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Bang. PK flashbang. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that they're not they don't actually have any powers. They just carry things like PK flash. They just toss a flashbang. PK shock. They just throw like a like a spoiled battery. PK fire. Douse a tennis ball in, in gasoline and light it on fire. Hit it with a baseball bat. What? <laughs> hey, fancy meeting you here, buddy. I'll never see you again. Later, nerds. Oh, here we go again. About PK Freeze, they have canned air. And they just hold the canned air down until they until you start freezing. Like ice burn from canned oxygen is a uh, is is real. That's real real. Do not spray yourself with canned oxygen. You you severely risk fucking your skin up. You go away? Oh my god, dude. That Smiler ate all my sanity, bro. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> uh, uh You wanna you wanna come closer? You wanna come a little closer? Nah, you stay over there. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, how you doing? I will be sitting in this chair, though. Do you happen to know why there's dead ends everywhere? Ow! That was mean. T 
see this happen. What does that do? It did it again, but I didn't die this time. The Wego Prese de Android. I uh, unfortunately do not speak Spanish. But I hope you're having a nice day. Something about this game being on Android? The descend glitch. I don't even know what I'm looking for on this level. Like, is it just a keep walking until you find a door type sit? Sitch, sitch? What's a sitch? Call me, beat me, if you want to reach me. Said it looks like a game from Android. Ah, I see. I mean, kinda. Probably would run. Definitely the exit. But that's true, yes. It's a cheap little indie game, so, you know, can't expect great visuals. I kind of like how it looks. Game looks like an Android game, yeah. And I could definitely see that. Although it might be complicated to actually control on the Android with just phone controls. Oh, there's a... There's a glitch guy, smile. I'm not going in the smile pit, Pastelito. But how are you? That's a... That, yeah, that's a good elevator. Trust it. It'll definitely take you where you want to go. And it reminds me of those Granny Knock Knock games. Or Knock Off games. Like Granny 1, 2, 3. Granny with a shotgun. Those games. <laughs> Just me or did it get lighter in here? Yeah, definitely did. I kind of digging it. Uh oh, <laughs> they're coming. They're coming to ruin my light. It happened again. It lied to me. Oh, hi. Don't teleport me. This realm is so hostile. How can these people just kind of hang out here? Are they... Are they immune? The shadow demons? Probably. Wish I was immune to shadow demons. Maybe they'll teach me their secrets one day. One day! But today is not one day, it's Thursday. Maybe Monday. Wait, is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Thor's day, the day of Thor. And yet there's not a single cloud in the sky. Riddle me that. Riddle me that, is it true? I 
How you doing? I'll leave you be. I don't think he wants to talk to me. Poor guy. Give me this. Man, every time the red blob shows up, it's like, oh, it just got real. Oh, boy. Who's moaning this loud? Nope. Ow. My brain! Bro! Cease. Oh, hee -ha. Hello. <laughs> oh, man. Stay right there. I'll see you later. Stay over there! Three minutes until we hit the warp point and then I skip to the next level. Y'all better let me out of here! Y'all better let me out of here! Wait. <laughs> I'm back here! I've already been in that one! I can tell because I've already looted that box. Oh my, no! Stay back, you hear me? Foul creatures of the abyss, it's on me still. No. No! You will not have me! Stop breathing on me! If I can just outwalk him for a minute and a half, I've got to mute again. All right, phone call over. That enraged me. <laughs> I feel like as the levels go on, these, uh, the shadow guys get faster and faster. Because there ain't no way those guys would have normally caught me, like on earlier levels. Ida Yoshikage approves of the hands. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer you these ouch hands. Wait, nope, just another wall. All right, we've heard, we've hit the 30 minute mark, so. 
we go to ow ow we should pause on this map level 17 oh wait, this is the bone from goldeneye dun 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 Hmm. These windows do nothing. They're a window to a greater world. What is that sound? What is that sound? It's concerning is what it is. Like you hear that? Sounds like someone running that isn't me. But they got like floppy feet. Oh my God. Be me. Trapped on an extra dimensional tanker ship. Being pursued by Goofy and the Glitch Man! Run! I'm not going back! If you don't know what he does, he forcefully sends you to the previous level. I'm not going there! Not today, Glitch Man! I wish I were a boat. I bet I'd be a good boat. Ooh, gold box. I mean the artifact. Hey, stamina refill speed. Augers, bro. There it is again. Maybe it's Mickey Mouse with his big old floppy shoes. Where are you, rat? I know you're out there. Waiting. Watching. Listening for the slightest hint of Star Wars OST. Gun in hand. Ready to shoot any- Oh, tight fit. I love claustrophobia. Ready to shoot anyone who shows the slightest interest in your properties. I just want to play Star Wars games, man. Does that mean you have to send a bounty hunter after me? Is it worth it? I think not. Then again, I'm also not Disney. I feel like this is a fine time to <laughs> to bring up all of all of my videos are, are currently uh, creative commons so feel free to you know use them in your own stuff if whatever is something following me no or feel free to use them to make things if you want you can use the readings you can use my gameplay if whatever strikes your fancy people have before it blew my mind the first time someone actually used like audio from something I'd done. It was crazy. What the? Abandoned ship! We hit the iceberg! The lettuce comes!
judgment letters. I love iceberg lettuce. But Alan, it's just basically like water. I know, that's why I love it. Speaking of water, take a drink. Uh, stay hydrated, everybody. Oh boy. Oh, hey, there you are. Blocking that whole hallway, I see. I remember back when I primarily read SCPs. I made so many videos that my thumbnails started to infiltrate Google image searches <laughs> for those SCPs to the point where like an actual like decent sized YouTuber used my thumbnail in their vi uh, of of a reading of an SCP as their in video image of that SCP it was incredibly funny <laughs> Like it had the little A on the top and everything. Oh, hey, a new thing. A little bit of flooding, never hurt anybody, except for all the people it hurt. Gonna keep going this way. Surely the tight hallway will lead us to victory. This level is mercifully. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Mercifully light on the entities. Uh, uh oh. They stand on this. All right, so the water level here changes. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you can see it kind of like rise and sink, sink. Hopefully, the whole thing don't flood. What is that noise? There's so many noises. Oh boy. Let that sink in. Oh my God. You're right. Also red blob. Keep moving. I saw it in the distance. Mm. Oh god, they're coming. Oh, they were actually in front of me. Ah! in the hatches, ye scally dogs, wags, tail. Yar! Buckle up, boys. We're in for some chop. I'm going to use some of my sugar. <laughs> Running forward, feel like I'm slightly walking at an incline. Who's there? Yar, who goes there? I am a modern-day pirate. 
I love jelly beans. Yar, pirates are famously known for enjoying jelly beans, yar. What the? What is this? Oh my god, it's the rust zone. So quick, someone give me a pickaxe. I'm gonna move in under someone's house. Steal all of their toenail clippings. Yar. Like pirates do. Build a whole underground society. Entirely dependent on the scraps of the world above. Like discarded Pokemon cards. A very valuable currency in this new society that I'm building. Unfortunately, I will be very poor in such a society because I own no Pokemon cards. Yar. Sad pirate noises. You know what I do own? I own Pokemon Blue. And that's kind of like a card. So maybe I own like a... I have like a Squirtle. Boom, Squirtle. My favorite Pokemon. I'll be honest, I thought I saw a face in the wall when I turned and I was about to scream. But then I turned again and it turned out it was just a little bit weird coloration. Yippee! Yippee! Wahoo! Ah, oh, pop my neck. It's a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Makes me feel momentarily better. Cause it makes me feel better. Da 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 da. God, I love that song. Cyberpunk has some really good music. That one day I'll be able to experience some. Get the get the seatbelt. Belt yourself to the floor. That's how you solve a ship crash. That's how you survive. You have to see bail yourself in. It's the most important part. Don't you know? Well, I know. Seriously, though, despite that little run in earlier, this level actually is pretty light on entities. Which is sick. Uh. <gasps> uh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. Wait a minute. Boxers. <laughs> That's a reference. <laughs> Boxers! <laughs> Man, old YouTube was a trip.
People would just do anything. Hey, full heal. Not just a full heal, it's full stamina and full sanity at the same time. Basically, it's a, you just got slapped by the red blob. That's what it's for. Like, oh, my boy, you just got slapped. That's basically what it's supposed to alleviate. Comes with the taunting and everything, another flooded zone. Now I'm going over here. There's a box over here. It's got birthday presents. Who stole my present? Ooh, birthday present. Hope you got me something good. <gasps> oh my God, it's almond milk. I'm gonna use that. To eat my raisin bran. Mm -hmm. mm. Boy, do I love raisin bran. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, is that an airplane? Better capture an Aliulo. Ooh, a present. <laughs> Someone is mowing. Suspiciously close to my building. When they just have a. They just have like an industrial scooter mower. It's very loud. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. It sounds like they're mowing next to my window, but they're across the street. And I look out and they're just going zoom! Like they're on a Segway. <laughs> Speaking of segways, ah, run! Quick, get on the motorboat. <laughs> nice. That was a good joke. I swear. Please believe me. I tried really hard to make that joke. Oh, nom, 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 nom. You know what I said earlier about not being tired? I think I'm failing that request, but it's okay. Because I'm not dead yet. Surely I'll find the generator room one of these days. It'll be the generator room. Then I'll blow that up. Then I'll steal the helicopter and blow that up. And then, ooh boy. I have to get on the flight deck or the cap pilot's quarters or whatever. I gotta put a computer on the computer and then uh things I don't know I don't remember much about that mission I'm gonna follow these three pipes surely they'll lead me in the right direction praise the three pipes of frenzy Flashlight doesn't do a whole lot on this level, does it? Eh. Uh oh. Who's there? What? Hey, Rust Realm. I've abandoned my faith. I've regained my faith. There's nowhere to go that way.
I have not seen a whole lot of shadow people this round. See, my faith has been rewarded. A r the Rust Realm. Keep following the three pipes. Inventory is full. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. Fine, I'll replace my battery. Excuse you. Stay back. You're not welcome here, Shadow Demon. Not in my rust realm. This is my Silent Hill nightmare, you fiend. Speaking of which, I'd like to play Silent Hill at some point. I know it! Faith in the three pipes! They will lead us to salvation! Level eight. Ooh, the lag realm. Ooh. I love that kind of design. <laughs> this place is very nice and very calming. I like the film grain. Wait, is this nostalgia? The level? Or like it's your childhood? It was a final area before the final boss vibes. Oh yeah, this is some walking through Amarot type stuff. Haha, <laughs> spoilers! Bro, I'm at the dead ends. Chilling in the dead ends with the Twitter demon. Every time it does the do 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 do, I think it's about to break into Undertale music. I'm going to walk into the void, see what happens. Do 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 do. What was that? I saw something in the side of my screen that looked like eyes. Access sandbox menu. Get it? <laughs> Can't look up. This is a lag realm. You know, these past couple levels have been very nice. Given the nightmare. Whoa. I'm... I was hitting the lean there a little bit. But I'm okay. My god, that mower is so loud. I wonder what terrible secrets await us in this realm. Because there's usually like rare biome spot 
What was that? I forgot about my stamina for a little bit and I started seeing shadow people. <gasps> What is that? I didn't mean to ex I, I didn't mean to press that button. It's a blood stain on a wall. Hmm. I love cork boards. Give me some thumbtacks. Nail my nostril to one. Don't do that. A terrible way to give yourself a nose ring. But yeah, after the nightmare of the past few levels, this is lovely. But you know there's got... Huh? There's got to be some messed up rare spawn or event. That happens when well, things get bad. <laughs> I'm okay. 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 Hmm. I wish I could be a Donkey Kong. I used to have a sandbox in my backyard. It was very poggers. Bit little, bit little army man forts. Out of sand and go to war. It was a lot of fun. What's that? The spooky ambience is killing my immersion and the niceness of the level! Bro! Bro, my immersion! Stop! The breath of Lucifer! Yippee. I think it's just spooky noises. Nothing else. But the spookiest of spooky noises. You know it's a very fun situation? Talking when your body is arranged in such an angle that you can feel your voice vibrating the tendons in your knees this is a very strange strange feeling that I'm getting but it's actually kind of kind of pleasant in a weird way it's like as I talk I can feel my voice vibrating through my entire body And it is so cool. Why'd the music scream at me? Bro! What was that? I'm about to freak! Not gonna lie though, I'm already kinda freaking. I 
Man, I remember back when Undertale came out. It was such a good time. Even though I technically got into it a little bit late. Because I waited for the my YouTuber of choice at the time to finish playing the entire game through. So I could binge it. And then I did. And it was great. And I watched other people that I watched at the time. And sometimes still do. And it was great. And I watched this one lady who I still watch from time to time. And she played it. She did Genocide Run. And she got to Sands and it took her 10 hours. So it's some chicken strips feeling good. Mmm. Chicken strip sounds awesome. I had some country fried chicken with white cheese on it. I don't know what type of cheese, but it was definitely a white flavor. Probably like, it's probably white American if we're being, being honest. It was pretty good. But I'm glad you had some good food one though. How's your day going besides that? I'm here taking advantage of the level about nostalgia to talk about Undertale. We could also talk about... Satan. Whatever that was. Food TVH, that's a mood. Don't know what that sound was, but I didn't like it. <laughs> Man. I remember 2013 to 2016. I was so happy then. Except for the part where I wasn't. But that part's not as important nor interesting to talk about. What is fun to talk about is that's when I got into Let's Plays! Oh man! 2013 to 2015 was the height of YouTube's Le YouTube Let's Play culture. It was so good, bro. I remember. I remember when I found Markiplier. And like a week after I found him, he got 500,000 subscribers. I remember. Look at him now. Look at the boy now. He's come a long way since he was king of the squirrels. Doing manly question and answers. Bean burrito. Yo, that sounds awesome. I remember watching one of his charity live streams. It was for Extra, Extra Life. The children's hospital charity. Sorry, my voice changer came off there for a second. And, um... He was trying to play World of Warcraft and failing horribly. And he did, ended up playing, playing his trumpet for some reason. He went and got his trumpet and played it a little bit. Woo Not today, I'm meditating. <laughs> Screw your flips, I'm meditating. He ended up cutting that stream short, which is a little bit of a bummer. Every so often, the world feels like it tilts slightly. But then it re like realigns itself as I stop walking. I think I'm going boo crazy. Hmm. Anyway. I think Markiplier was the first Let's Player I subscribed to. Despite watching a lot of them, he was the first one I actually subbed to at the time. And it was because of a video that was relatively recent to when I found him called The Ripest of Fears. I 
Not real. I've got bad, like, people analysis abilities. So maybe I'm entirely wrong. But that his reaction to that game was very felt very sincere. Who's breathing in my ear? Stop that. I'm trying to talk here. And I respected that. Soon after though, I'd subbed to a bunch of people. I subbed to the, the pudes, of course. What was that? Oh, that's the, that's the glitch. I'd subbed to the RPG Minx. Um, C Nanners. Who now runs like a furniture store or something? Arts or craft store, something like that. A gassy Mexican. <laughs> I subbed to him. A YouTuber who shall not be named. Because <laughs> they blew, they shot everyone in the foot. And it sucks because they wound up being my favorite. And back in 2020, they were one of the one of the ones. One of the ones who it turned out were no good from the start. I did not mean to press five, I meant to press three. Well, there goes my full heal. Anyway. It kind of sucks because they had one of the like one of the comfiest fandoms to be in. And as it turns out, they were uh, not treating them well. Or other, or or their their friends. They treated their friends like shit too. Oh wait, new thing. Nope, never mind. I thought they were benches. Turns out there's just more tables inside buildings. So that was a ride. Back off. That's the first entity I've seen. But man. Twenty twenty sucked. <laughs> Screw that year, dude. Like it's good that that type of stuff comes out. I just wish it didn't. <laughs> like <laughs> that they didn't do it. <laughs> Is it so hard? Is it so hard to not take advantage of people? Come on. <laughs> What is it about big numbers that make people think that they're invincible? I swear, internal moral impulses are impossible to find. I keep getting more sugar. Nope. Nope. Yes. Wait a minute. Discarding items. Wait, you can do that? Oh my god. You can get rid of items. I did not know. Dang, dude. Mmm, 
chicken pizza. You know, I don't like buffalo. Hot take, I know, except it's the exact opposite of a hot take. On account of I don't like spice. The, the spicy thing. It's not that I don't like spice, just I don't like that spicy taste. There were the taste of that spicy thing, rather. Imagine putting caviar on pizza. Couldn't be me. I've never had it. I don't I don't know what caviar tastes like. I used to fangirl real hard. Over, over Let's Players back in the day. Like I was all cheer, cheer, rah, rah, rah for that guy. They actually <laughs> changed genders and became a girl. Uh. They actually inspired a lot of my channel's early aesthetic. We can kind of feel the echoes of now. Even though it's changed a little bit. Developed and evolved, but they inspired the aesthetic. And I hold on to it because I do think it still looks good. At least I didn't do anything cringe and <laughs> name my Twitter handle off of them. Got some nice channel art. Yeah, oh yeah, channel art. Oh yeah. That sure is some channel art. I gotta touch like this thing. Ascend. I used to watch a lot of people. Why does it only have three posts? Who needs a fourth? Fourth, uh, fourth post in this economy? Chicken pizza good or bad sounds good. I've never had it. I've had macaroni pizza. I've had Oreo pizza. I've had chicken fajita pizza. I've had burrito pizza. But I've not just had chicken pizza. How are you? How are you, HLT beta fan? This fine day. We're stuck on the nostalgia level, so I'm... Reminiscing about the good old days of eight years ago. Damn near ten. Starting in August. It'll be ten years since I started watching Let's Plays and watching YouTube properly for things other than K-pop. <laughs> because that's what I was watching. I was watching... Nothing but K-pop and like K-pop like Like rating videos. I used to watch Simon and Martina eat your kimchi Back in the day shame what happened Another thing that's like damn That's fucked and that makes me sad I guess it's good that the situation got fixed sort of Texan guy in Gmod that everyone's trying to kill why are we trying to kill Texans? What Texas ever do? I've got a weird type of nostalgia about 2013. Like I don't necessarily I don't want to be back in 2013 
And I don't want the world to be like it was in 2013. I just wish I could feel the same about things as I did in 2013. It is really hard now to get emotionally invested in anything. Why do I keep finding sugar? Ah, yes. We hit the 1920 period <laughs> of the level. I also had much better reaction to horror games in 2013. I used to be afraid of everything. And I would jump and scream and do all that good stuff. All the classic YouTuber reactions that people make fun of for like being fake. Those were my legitimate reactions to horror games in 2013. I would cry, jump, I would throw my arms back and like, like paralyze myself in fear. And I could get invested in anything, basically. Like any story. And pay attention to it. I know what's going on. <sighs> but now my attention span is sharply degrading, slowly rotting, becoming useless. Uh, man, I remember when I used to be able to listen to music and walk at the same time. Check your sanity. Oh my god, the box rooms. Out of the box. Out of the box. I love that show. That was a great show. I watched it when I was a very little baby. Small little baby, Alan. I remember having the stomach flu and staying home all day one time and watching Out of the Box the entire day. And it was a good day, dude. Love that day. Hey, more health. Sick. I think this room is getting to you. I'm just leaning into the aesthetic. It's the room of nostalgia, so it's talk about past. While I wait for the timer, <laughs> the timer to let me skip. Because I can't figure out how to leave. Oh! Actually, this makes this entire thing worth it. Makes that entire ramble worth it, is finding a fire salt bomb. That'll probably save my life later on. <laughs> Surrounded by shadow guys. Poof! Poof! Die! <sighs> I remember in 2013, early 2013, I got into Let's Plays by the tip of my toenail. Just don't fat finger a button. No, I'll probably discard it again. I see. Interesting. But I like dipped my toenail into Let's Plays and I watched well, good old PewDiePie play Happy Wheels. And it was the funniest thing. It was so god dang funny in 2013. <laughs> I was like 20 years old and I thought that Happy Wheels was hilarious.
But then come August, I properly got into Let's Plays via another PewDiePie thing because I'd watched him before, so that's all YouTube would give me was PewDiePie stuff for Let's Plays. Like, I watched nothing during the summer. And then August, I came back to college for my third year. And it was like after... Like after band practice, because I was in band, I was in marching band. So I'd go a week early and spend that entire week practicing. Um, I was served by the ye old algorithm. You know, the YouTube algorithm that would actually serve you new related videos, as opposed to the same video that I've watched three times already. YouTube, I don't want to watch it again. Stop asking. But it served me up a one, like a one hour compilation of PewDiePie getting scared playing horror games. <laughs> and I thought that was delightful. And so I watched the entire thing and I jumped. And I almost screamed, but I didn't because I was in a dorm and I didn't want my neighbors to think I was weird. But I jumped. I did a lot of the, a lot of the throw my hands up from my desk, like put my hands up, ah, duh, I surrender type stuff, you know, cause that'll, that'll make Slender Man not, not yell at me or whatever. Um, yeah. So I watched that. I watched him play a bunch of spooky horror games, and that was very cool. And then, after I got bored of the horror games after a week, I watched him play something else. The game that cemented my love for Let's Plays forever. That was To The Moon. First video game to ever make me cry. One of three video games to ever make me cry. Well, well, during the playing of it or the watching of it, there's been games that have made me cry after the fact. But it's one of three that I actually have cried during the viewing or playing of. And that cemented me in, ah, uh, yeah. This is a good medium. Then 2017 rolls around. I'm gifted an Xbox One for Christmas. Or I guess 2016 going into 2017. I'm gifted an Xbox One for Christmas, which I didn't want, but I wasn't allowed to say no because I'd already bought it. And I started streaming. And then I started recording on a, a MacBook, a MacBook Pro laptop. And it was miserable. And I had to hunch curled over a, a bookshelf or like a dresser. I had to like cowboy my legs out and it hurt and I had to wear a blanket over my head so to muffle the sound of a fan I had to have a pillow up against the wall to catch my sound and it was hot and it was miserable and I had to be quiet because I'd record it like, like midnight in a dormitory and I loved it so much And now we're here. <laughs> so anyway, that's the story as to why I'm playing into the back rooms. Why are there so many boxes in here? Inventory, you still full. 
Ooh, artifact box. Ah, yeah, more boxes. Just what I need. Woohoo! Bro, I don't even know what the the exit for this level looks like. I'm like so lost, bro. I'm so lost, bro. I know. I know just some random user. We've been here forever, but we're coming up on the the half an hour I'm allowed to skip mark. Just like four minutes and then we can leave. I can always tell more stories about my viewing of gameplay because I didn't do anything. Like I went to college. I played trumpet in band. I took a French class and I forgot everything in it. And, uh, yeah, I did nothing else. <laughs> Made languages, but all of those are gone now. Only one of them has survived. And it's in an entirely unrecognizable state now. That's Venopshi, which was Vinnabushti at the time. But now it's Venopshi. And if you're on the Discord... Who's growling? But if you're on the Discord, that's the language that I'm usually talking about in Alan's language room. Join the Discord, haha. It's also the language that that SCP-173 reading was in a few months back. Whereas like an alien language that was in uh, Venopshi. But I made that language, the first version of that language in like 2010. But it was very different. And it actually got revised in 2011. So it's, uh, it's on like revision three at this point. And I'm pretty happy with where it is now. I like Fenlopshi. I think it's one of my best. It's probably my best work. I like having five of each item. It's very comfy. Wish I had more pocket room, though. That'd be pretty sick. Bro, I don't know what I'm looking for to get out of this room. The only entity I've seen was the the level the level go back glitch guy. This is a great level to go into to get resources though. Not the Not the cork board. Ugh. Stretch. Oh, hey. Oh, great. <laughs> We're in the basement now. I remember this one. I had to re record this one. Uh. However, we're on the hour and a half mark. So I'm going to end a recording section here. The stream will be continuing, though. If you're watching this in the future, I'll see you later. Otherwise, we will continue.